instead of fixing me, you broke me! I'll tell you one thing, I would not be comfortable with him being in the movie theater while I watched Batman. This is normal. This is normal. This is normal, 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 normal. This is normal. This is normal. This is normal, normal, normal. Hello, and welcome to This is Normal, the show where we watch things that are extremely normal. Uh, my name is Chris Anderson, but you can call me the Joker. <laughs> and I'm Ethan Sereski, but you can call George O'Brien Gambit. And Ethan, for this episode, we always said that if we ever made it big, we're going to try and lift other people up, you know? I think it's time we do that because we've definitely made it big. I agree. I've found uh, quite a few uh, aspiring actors have uploaded to YouTube uh, audition tapes and reels. Oh, stop it. No. Oh, how did you keep from telling me this beforehand? That's amazing. So I found about 10 different pieces of people auditioning with a monologue where they are the Joker. Women? No, men. Why did oh, you say women? Because I thought you said, didn't you say women? I swear you told me they were women. They, they were actresses. I got mm -hmm. that from somewhere. There's no way I made that up because that's the weirdest comment ever. Uh, no, well, I will edit it in what I did. We'll Why see. so serious? Uh, could you do it with a lower voice, ma'am? So we've got <laughs> 10 jokers here. Are First any up, famous or are these all amateurs? These are all amateurs. Oh, with their names? Oh, this is going to be so funny. Yeah, no, cool. I'm going to have to censor that. Oh, why? We're giving them exposure. Oh, it's no, his phone number. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I'm going to censor that. But at first, we've got uh, Blake Leon doing monologue of uh, the Joker from The Dark Knight. Would you rather be Blake Leon or Leon Blake? Ooh, I think Leon Blake, but maybe Me that too. was taken already. Yep. Handsome. There he is. Yeah. Boy, he's got the look. <laughs> Already electric. What energy level is that? Can we just see that from the beginning? This is going to be something I really enjoy. And for the record, the suit wasn't cheap. You want to know, you bought it. Look, let's rewind the clocks back a year. This is the Joker. Wait, what What does he do? Like, what? if you had to say, what is he bringing to the Joker? How does he see the Joker so far? Uh, seems like uh, the Joker is a guy. A quiet guy. This Joker is like a guy you know who is suddenly you find out he's really interested in something and he's excited to tell you about it. And he's kind of shy. Yeah, but he's opening up. So you're like, okay. Sure, yeah, yeah. What's going on, buddy? Okay. These cops and lawyers wouldn't dare cross any of you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, what, what happened? Your balls drop off. Look at yeah, that face. Right. Look at that face. He, he caught it in that in that one moment. Yeah, he's there. He's got this lightning in the bottle. Take us home. <laughs> you see a guy like me. See a guy like look, listen. I know why you choose to have these little <clears throat> group therapy sessions in broad daylight. Did he vomit or is that in the script? That no, that is uh, that I think matches the mannerisms, uh, you know, the sort of manner of performance that Heath Ledger was bringing. Okay, I think, I think that plays. I think that's him trying to put a little mustard on it. Oh, I was worried that it might, you know, that he might just. You thought he might have had some acid reflux. Yeah, exactly. I was, felt, I felt bad that he that he verped in the middle of his monologue. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be an embarrassing moment. You're just like. You're just like, hey, you're the Batman. And but it was still my best take. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still going to send the one where I burped. You know what the best one was where I burped? <laughs> yeah, I think the verb added something. 
That's a problem that the Joker would have. That's right. Yeah. Acid reflux. I know why. Joker probably eats a lot of cheap pizza. That's the vibe I get from the Joker. He yeah. buys a lot of slices. Is he doing a bit of a Clint Eastwood? You're afraid to go out at night. I could see that. Yeah. I could, or rather, I could see if he was trying to do a Clint Eastwood character, it would also look a lot like this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could tell me, am I am I getting some Denzel here? And be like, <laughs> yeah, this is as close as he's going to get to pretty much anything. The Batman. You see, the Batman has shown Gotham your true colors, unfortunate Lee. <laughs> oh, that was Ooh. a good choice. That was you an put a little stink choice. on it. Yes. Interesting. Lee. <laughs> Very Joker. Batman has shown Gotham your true colors, unfortunate Lee. Dent, he, he, he's just the beginning. What? Dent, he's just the beginning. Oh, Her, wait, Harvey I Dent. Was, he makes the script sound bad. It's true. It makes you realize just how much this performance requires. Yeah. And then as, as, as far as this TV so-called plan... Batman has no jurisdiction. He'll find him and he'll make him squeal. <laughs> I'll make you squeal. I will. Let's hear that one again. He's bringing, he's ratcheting up the intensity. He's building towards something. Squealing. Batman has no jurisdiction. He'll find him and he'll make him squeal. Squeal. I know the squealers when I see them. Ooh. And. Uh, it's simple. We. Uh, kill the Batman. Nailed it. One hundred percent. I'm beginning. To, like, I can't, can you tell me something that'll make me not feel bad? Because this is not a famous guy. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's let's see how this one goes. <laughs> nice of you to say, but Turn you of all people should know. There's plenty wrong with me. Take my blood, for example. Is he a vampire? Boy, I don't know. We'll see where he's going. It is It is great to imagine the Joker wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. <laughs> Greedo shot first. <laughs> I wish someone would. This stuff is killing me. <laughs> Ah. He's going for a Mark Hamill vibe. He's not doing too bad. Uh, He's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing great. <laughs> I like the lighting. Now, there's a teeny little bit of me in you too, Bats. Oh, come on. It's not as if it's not everything you've ever wanted. Is he British? Yeah. No, he's he's nailing the Batman the animated series Joker. I think this dude's crushing. Oh, this oh, this is not Dark Knight. No, no, he's doing Batman animated series. And he's okay, doing well, uh, is it yeah, but if it's an invitation, it's you know not bad. But if it's his audition, then it's uh, horrific. Yeah, I mean, if if he was auditioning for like we need someone to do the voice of the Joker for our Batman the animated series video game. You'd be like, yes, this guy would be great. Obviously, in, in other words, Mark Hamill. In other words, Mark Hamill's dead. I mean, Mark Hamill. You know, he's this. This game is pretty cheap. We're on a pretty tight budget. We can't afford his quote these days. Very he's, cheap. He's yes. hot ever since he came back as uh, Luke Skywalker. Who knows? <laughs> I, I'm not saying it makes sense business wise. I'm saying I get it. I get what he's going for, and I think he's doing a good job. And and I like his lighting choice. He's like, you know, he thought it would be a little eerie. You know, at least he made a choice. I'll give him that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give this guy, he's our best Joker so far. Oh, Let's he's winning. Yeah, one. it's one nothing him. All right, so right now, Joker Audition tapes number four is our our choice to play the Joker. Ah! My secret <laughs> thing I always knew, but Never said. I never wanted to kill you. He I'm hearing the like, N word. He sounds like Hoggle from Labyrinth. I don't remember that movie, but that's with David Bowie. Yes. Uh, 
but David Bowie played the Goblin King. Hoggle was the large puppet that was friends with Jennifer Connelly. Gotcha. I didn't want to hurt any of you. I was just so bored. And then you took that empty feeling and turned it into a raw fire that burned inside of me every time I saw it. It's got it. a little golem to it. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of Joker, and not even from the dialogue either. Like, you should have said Batman by now. <laughs> oh, no, he chose a piece from Lord of the Rings to audition as Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, uh, what if Joker was Samwise Gamgee? <laughs> I think it'd go a little something like this, just Samwise Gamgee. Jupiter, bat signal in the sky. Oh, bad signal. There we go. Is he Irish? Is um, the Joker I'm hearing, Irish? I'm hearing an accent. I don't, I can't place it. Let's go back. Let's, let's let him go for a good 10 seconds. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Feeling and turning into a raw fire that That's Yoda. burned inside of me every time I saw that stupid bat signal in the sky. I wish it hadn't ended like this. So. Nothing without you. <laughs> Why is he that close to me? Because this scene is going to be more intimate, more than the one where the Joker said, I'm nothing without you. So he imagines that a casting agency made it through that and is now on this. It's like he's like, okay, let me let me do another one. Is there any way the Joker could be Irish? We never thought about it. Or Yoda. Uh, yeah. is there any that. way the Joker could be played by Hoggle from Labyrinth? <laughs> You want to know my secret? Ah. The thing I always knew but never said. Oh, this is just another take. Okay. Go oh, off, I see. I like his Goonies shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, A lot of big okay. movies on the shirts. I don't think he's going to take off uh, Star Wars shirt for Joker. Star Wars shirt is still our first choice for yeah. Joker. Agreed. A close second if we are going to do an Irish take on Batman, which is not the worst idea. Well, we didn't go into this looking for an Irish Joker, so we can't give him that advantage. Fair enough. All right, Joker with a beard. Oh, Seth Rogen? Could be. Let's... <laughs> okay. That's Seth Rogen as the Unabomber. <laughs> That's not the worst take for the Joker. Let's no. be honest. I'd go for Seth Rogen as the Unabomber style Joker. <laughs> I'd watch that movie. He brought me Snickle Fritz, dude. Uh. It, it would be like, uh, you know, it'd be like a comedy. It'd be like uh, Batman 66. I'd check it out. I would, I'd be interested in seeing a mix of um, Pineapple Express and Dark Knight. Yeah, 100%. Let's see if that's what this guy's bringing to the table. Okay. My name is Anthony Cornanser, and I will be reading Wait. sides as the Joker. That's Anthony Cornanser. I was about to say, why is, why is Seth Rogen saying... He's Anthony Cornroser or whatever. Maybe he doesn't want to trade on his previous fame. Fucking right. Great. Yeah, build himself up from the bottom again. This time as a dramatic actor. Oh, I love that. This would be that'd be a great movie. Yeah. For the role of law. Oh. <laughs> Never start with the head. Victim gets fuzzy. Can't feel the next. Ah! <laughs> he, that's what i picture if i had a lobotomy and woke up in the middle of it that's what i would do <laughs> what a it's it's tough when you have to pretend that you've just gotten hit you know it, well let me see him get hit again i want to see that i didn't know that's what it was i thought it yeah was yeah he's he it starts because the scene starts off with batman slamming joker's head into the table oh so every time when he's doing like boom that's supposed to be him, like, coming back from being hit. Okay, you know let's I mean? see if it looks realistic from being punched in the face. Head. Victim gets fuzzy. Can't feel the next... <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> well, I wanted to see what you do. And you didn't disappoint. You let... my people die. This guy is, uh... Giving me big dungeon master vibe. <laughs> I someone, don't know much about it. 
as someone who plays Dungeons and Dragons, he is act. He is a dungeon master, and this is the villain of his campaign. Wait, this I have was, a question. When yeah. you play Dungeons and Dragons, do you act out parts or be, be like? Are you speaking in a voice? Uh, yeah, yeah. When I dungeon master, you're you're controlling. Uh, you're you're playing the part of a bunch of different characters, so it really helps differentiate them for the players if you can give them different voices okay so he's that's what he's giving you the dungeon master vibe yeah he's giving me big dungeon master vibes okay seth rogan's giving you dungeon master vibes yeah you're not quite there yet seth <laughs> then you let them take your place even to a guy like me oh, that's cold oh, those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were I know the truth. There's no going back. You. <laughs> There's no going back. Felt especially dungeon mastery. <laughs> There's no going back. You have the... encountered a leprechaun. <laughs> the tunnel no... behind you has collapsed, and your <laughs> torch is extinguished. <sighs> I know the truth. There's no going back. <laughs> You've changed things. Forever. <laughs> Kill you. Not bad. Not bad. He was close there. He was onto something there. Well, I mean, we're comparing him to uh, you know the other yeah. two, so I guess that was good. I don't know. I, okay, I'm gonna say this guy. He's in the picture. He might not be Joker. I still feel like Star Wars shirt is my Joker. Oh, if I was really casting this, he'd be winning because he seems the most able to be normal and take um, direction. Like, I feel like I'd be able to work with him the best, Seth Rogen. Okay, okay. And he's also, he's been in a lot of movies. It's true. He does have a lot of experience, and you want to see even, well, his, he couldn't bring that marquee name because he's obviously he's acting under that assumed name now. Yeah, Ref, Ref Sogan. But anyway, uh, let's check the next one. And by the way, <laughs> out oh god, <laughs> um, you you can't wear a costume to an audition. Like you should never do that. Like don't ever do that. Like I, I don't know why people do that. It just huh. reeks of desperation. No. Yeah, it's not a good vibe. But let's it's see like, how it works for this guy. Yeah, and maybe it'll work for him. You're right. I'll unofficial go. Joker audition. Society right. might have changed. Oh, geez. We oh, in. I'm already scared of this fucking guy. Yeah, that last guy, uh, I don't think he had the range. He had a great laugh, uh, but I'm not even sure if that was actually him doing it. I don't think he's in the running. I'm not sure, but this may actually be a Joker. Yeah, well, I did find a video from the actual Joker, so let's see how he does auditioning to play himself. Okay. Society, you had a chance to fix me. Chance? <laughs> Chance. You had a chance to fix me, society. I don't think he's auditioning for Joker. I think this is just a post. Society, you had a chance to fix me. Instead of fixing me, you broke me. <laughs> uh, what is that? Like, what is he doing? He's doing uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Oh, okay. I got you. I, I didn't gonna... like that movie. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> and then you didn't like it either because it wasn't <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> it was like, damn, this guy's really, he's getting fucking Joker-fied. Do you know what I mean? The whole movie was just about a guy fucking becoming the Joker. It was, like was falling, weird. It was like falling down to me. Uh, yeah, except he was becoming the Joker. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if what's the guy from falling down? Michael Douglas? Michael Douglas. If he ended up as the Joker, it would have been a similar film. Yeah, yeah, but he started off like 90% of the way to being Joker at the beginning of the movie, which was also very funny to me, to be like, God, this guy's already a fucking freak, the whole yeah. movie. To me, instead of fixing me, you broke me! I'll tell you one thing, I would not be comfortable with him being in the movie theater while I watched Batman. No, no, I'm gonna say this guy's giving me big watch list vibes. Oh, yeah, I, he definitely can't get on a plane. You broke me! Yeah. 
hang on. He's just using this as a vehicle through which to express his own rage. I mean, look, that's, you know, if your artistic process also helps you exercise your own personal demons, then God bless. But not purely. You so. broke me! Does something come out of his nose when he does that? Watch closely. Why? This guy. Is he doing a Joker audition? Oh, he is. I yep. thought it was a commercial. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I found a lot of uh, videos from India that were labeled as Joker auditions, but they seem to be just imitating some sort of uh, influencer that in, in other was words, called awesome. Joker. Oh, okay. So this has nothing to do with Batman. <laughs> this might. This might. I don't know if this. This doesn't look like one of those. So we'll see if this guy's auditioning for the role of the Joker. You know, you know, it'd be crazy if this guy in particular was just like better than Heath Ledger. Let's see, he might crush it. Yeah, let's give him a chance. <laughs> I don't think he's crushing it. I gotta say. <laughs> I'm not getting a lot of Joker vibes from this performance. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of Modi vibes. And, you know, he's just sort of, <clears throat> he's not bringing a lot of physicality to the role. You know, he, he's not selling it. Is he speaking in English? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> no, definitely not. Also, I got to say, this is not a good room to be recording in. Satish Kumar Chauhan. You gotta step your game up. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Satish Kumar Chauhan. Okay. Uh, AKA yeah. The Joker. Let's let's see if he if it builds. I'm gonna jump ahead. I'm gonna give him a shot. I'm not gonna jump right ahead and right away. Let's see if it builds to something. <laughs> he seems sad, which doesn't seem Joker. <laughs> Maybe this is for some other thing that's also called Joker. Oh, that's... No, no, that was Batman. I could tell. <laughs> well, I've got to say, uh, we'll call you, Satish. I, he's my favorite. Hi, my name is Andre Adair, and I'll be playing as Arthur Fleck from the movie Joker. Okay, we got we got another Joaquin Phoenix Joker. I like when they come out with the Joker face paint and then go, "I'll be playing the Joker." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be playing the role of Batman. <laughs> written by Todd Phillips. <laughs> we gave a credit. He's got his buddy there, man in the camera. That's a true friend. Yeah. It, oh, God, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just it's been a rough past few weeks, Murray. Is this like the Joker you should pity? Is that his take? I mean, that was Joaquin Phoenix's take. Oh, is he the Joaquin Phoenix Joker? I can't yeah. I, I get him mixed up. Okay. Anarud Nair is the Joaquin Phoenix. I got you. Yeah. I, I killed those Wall Street guys. Okay. I'm waiting for the punchline. There is no punchline. It's not a joke. Okay, so this was when he was on TV with right. Robert De Niro. Okay. Right. Well, do you, do you know who's taping this, by the way? His fucking best friend. Robert De Niro. Oh, shit. His best friend is Robert De Niro. <laughs> yeah. he's That'd be so much fun if he had, like, the actual Robert De Niro to run lines with. If at the end of this video, the camera turned around and it was Bobby D. I think it was a fucking good take. <laughs> so, check out my boy, Anarud De Niro. De Niro. De Niro. <laughs> You're telling us you killed those three young men on the subway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why should we believe you? I got nothing left to lose. Nothing can hurt me anymore. My life is nothing but a comedy. It's very yeah. dreamy. It's dreamscape to me. Yeah, I feel like he's not he's not bringing the specificity to it that it needs. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I, I disagree. I think he's doing great. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, let's let's hear him out. I'll give him a little more. <laughs> 
I'll give him another 15 seconds before we got to move on to our next auditioner. Does the Joker have a red nose? Uh, he does in the film Joker. Okay, that's my problem with a lot of this is that I don't like that movie. I don't think he should have a red nose. That's fair. Thank you. Get this straight. You think it's funny? You think it's funny killing those guys? Yes, I do. And I'm tired of pretending it's not. Comedy is subjective, Murray. Isn't Murray? Is he saying Murray? Murray. He said Murray. I don't think he knows the name, which is fine. I mean, if he's not. No, he's putting a little pepper on. He's like Murray. 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 <laughs> I have an Uncle Murray. Let's. Shout yeah. out to Uncle Murray. Shout out to Uncle Murray. He, you know what? Okay, I'll it's not. Let's get this. Yes, I do. And I'm tired of pretending it's not. Comedy is subjective, Murray. Isn't that what they all say? All of you, the people, the system, who know so much, get to decide what's right and wrong. The same way that you decide what's funny or not. No, he has a problem with his A's. Could be. Could be. He's not putting stank on that one. <laughs> like, I'm funny. <laughs> you know, he's got a Forrest Gump going on. That could be it. It could be that he's from Bayou, Alabama, Alabama. Or he's Tom Hanks. Could be it. Could be Tom Hanks, and then the camera turns around and he's Robert De Niro. He says, "Guess my boy Tom Hanks says An another fucking good take." <laughs> God, that's why they call him Tommy One Time. <laughs> Tommy COVID. All right, I'm sorry. I don't think you're quite right, Anna Rude, but keep stay with it. You know, don't give up. Best of luck to you. On to our next Joker. <laughs> This is a nightmare. Is he trick-or-treating? I don't know what's happening. I think he's trick-or-treating. I think this is a Halloween joker. This is... Well, let's see. Let's see. Nice hair. Is there a snake in there? All right, I don't think you've quite got it. No, no, he's fired. I don't think you should have been brought down to the auditions today. <laughs> your man, your plan. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? Hmm? You know what I am? I'm like a dog chasing cars. All right. I, I think he's doing fine. I mean, for a bad imitation. Yeah, I think he's he's gotten closer in terms of imitation than anyone else we've seen go for the Heath. Yeah, no one has tried to introduce their own Joker, but I, I'm going to grade who does the best Heath Ledger impression will be how I do it. Okay, that's that's certainly on, on against the Heath Ledgers. That's fair enough. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it, you know? What? I just do things. See, the mob's got plans. The cops have plans. Gordon's got plans. You know, he looks a little like shit. Harry Strug. He's doing a great job with the lip smacking. Yeah, but it yeah. feels sort of uh, random. It doesn't. It feels. It doesn't feel purposeful. It's you know a I mean? choice. I mean, I give him that, but it doesn't connect with the character. I mean, but I mean something. Ledger did it, but I, I don't think he's doing it as well. It's, it feels yeah. sort of perfunctory. It's a, it's it's first of all, it's an imitation. Second of all, it doesn't even re, it doesn't it didn't even bring up the way Heath Ledger did it. I mean, it's not even close. But it, you know, it's a tribute, so good for him. Schemers, schemers trying to control their little worlds. No, I'm not a schemer. I just like to show the schemers how pathetic. Their attempts of controlling things really are. All right. All right. So you're just giving us a straight down the middle Heath. That's a Heath. Yeah. That's a Heath. I, I like, I don't know. Is that Marilyn Manson coming up next? Uh, looks like we got somebody doing a. Oh, why does it keep on doing it? <laughs> Garrett Williamson. Yeah. I think we're getting a Leto Joker. It's our first Jared Leto That's Joker. That's a good point, yeah. The Reese, the only, the only, the air. 
what? He's not speaking English, right? No, he. Hang on. <laughs> you sweat me because I really want to see the air cut. That is English. <laughs> I think. Is it the grill that's just making him incomprehensible? Maybe it's a choice. I don't know. I gotta give, I'm trying to give him credit. I mean, but it, 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 I, I thought he was speaking another language. Yeah, I have, I have barely understood anything he has said in the previous 18 seconds. I'm going to take it back to that last one, and I'm going to slow that down, see if I can pick it up. Okay. Who's wet me? Because I really want to see the air cut. His teeth fell out. <laughs> Don't sweat me because I really want to see the haircut. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Maybe maybe this scene just has some very specific dialogue. <laughs> you should. I feel like if you're doing a Joker scene, you should choose a scene where you have the word Batman somewhere in the dialogue just to really hit home the fact that you're the Joker. And a big you know tip, I mean? big tip for auditioners out there. When you're auditioning for the Joker, do it in English. Yeah. Yeah. The Joker, you'll find it often speaks English. Yeah. Yeah. Many in many representations. If you don't speak English, get out of my dang Joker audition. I gotta be honest. I, I, I needed him to speak English for, to make my movie. <laughs> Well, well, well. Hey, I'm a racist. You're right. Viewers, I just found out. Viewers, we report, you decide. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that was uh, that was the whole audition. Can you imagine his girlfriend? He's like, could you just draw tattoos on me? And she's like, what? No, not again. Why the Leto one? All right, this is Creature the Album intro light skin Joker audition tape. Oh, he's auditioning for light skin Joker. That's my assumption. Okay, and how is light skin Joker different from the regular Joker? I think you and I are going to find out at the okay. same time. Gotcha. What is happening? <laughs> he decided he, this is a better angle. He's right. He's reading the lines. Oh, this is the worst one I've ever seen. I'm scared of this dude. I'm excited for when this starts. It already did. <laughs> what? Uh, it's well. Uh, he sees the Joker as a thinking man. It's more, true more than a talking man. <laughs> it's rare when you see someone audition with an internal monologue. <laughs> I'm going to be doing an internal monologue for you. It's really good, trust me. That would be funny. <laughs> All right. Well, that I can I I I'll give him credit. He did differentiate between the Joker and the light skinned Joker very well. Yeah. <laughs> Much more of a thinker. That's my last Joker. Well, I, I mean, I love them all. I, I thank you for this. I love, I, I think we need to go into find some more auditions, maybe for different projects, for original projects, because there's nothing I like more than watching people give me that um, amusement park falling feeling by bombing. Well, and I got to say, we got to give it up to the Joker wearing the Star Wars t-shirt. Yeah. You are our Joker. Yep. You're America's top Joker. And, and you know who it's not is uh, Nair. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Th thank you guys so much for watching. This is normal. I hope you found all these audition tapes to be extremely normal. Uh, we hope that you'd like and subscribe and leave a comment and uh, ring that bell icon. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. This is normal. 
This is normal. This is normal, 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 normal. This is normal. This is normal. This is normal, normal, normal.